In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 20, verses 29 to 34. Now as they went up to Jericho, a great multitude followed him. And behold, two blind men sitting by the road, when they heard that Jesus was passing by, cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, Son of David. Then the multitude warned them that they should be quiet, and that they cried out all the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, Son of David. So Jesus stood still and called them and said, What do you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Lord, that our eyes may be opened. So Jesus had compassion and touched their eyes. And immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and your teachings. Open our eyes that we may see you clearly in your word. 24 hours ago, I was laying on an operating table, having cataract surgery. Yes. This time yesterday, that's what was happening to me. We read in today's Gospel from St. Matthew about these two men, two blind men, who confess that Jesus was Lord. I was heading towards being blind myself because of the cataracts. My eyesight was failing. And a little miracle happened. I was given the opportunity to have my eyes fixed, that I could continue in this ministry of preaching the good news. Thanks be to God for the doctors, the nurses at the hospital. This procedure did not take very long. Yes, I'm still on recovery mode. My eyes yet are not fully healed. That takes time. Please God, as the days go on, and the treatment that I have to do after this operation happens, things will get a lot clearer. We all need to have our eyes opened. Many of us, because of the world and its influence, has blinded us. And as these two men cried out when they heard the Lord was present, so too we must cry out to the Lord too. To open our eyes to the reality to the reality of the world, to the reality of Satan's influence in the world, to repent of our sins, turn back to God, go back to church. Yes, he gives you the opportunity. All you have to do is take that opportunity and do something with it. I was given an opportunity to get new eyesight, or let's say better eyesight at least, which has happened. It is a miracle 
how from one day to the next how your vision can improve just by a fairly simple operation. I can see clearer now, just like the blind men did. They had faith. Yes, they had faith that Jesus Christ could heal them. I have faith in God too. I have faith in the doctors, the nurses, that they could help me. And thanks be to God, a miracle happened. I can see clearer. And in time, it will improve even more. So this new look without glasses is something different, isn't it? But even I think for a little while I might need to still have some glasses for helping me re-reading. But my long sight vision is much better now. I don't have a cloud in front of me trying to see through this foggy mist that's been removed. God, through the hands of the surgeon, remove that. So I urge you to, if you have the occasion and you can do it for yourself, do it. But I urge you all to turn back to God if you have started following the world in its worldly ways. Turn back to God. Repent of your many sins. We all have them. We are all sinners. Every one of us are. Yes. We all so often fall short. We have the Holy Spirit there to help us, to guide us, to be with us. Yes. Call on him. Call on God to help you. And every day, when he does, give him the glory, as I give the glory to God through the hands of those surgeons. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.